the first level of revelation is he's talking about literal this thing's going to wrap up one day you don't have a long time to do what you got to do the next level of revelation is he was talking about two days and he was talking about the third day his resurrection and he was talking about what happened the first two days devils were cast out and on the third day he came out and he led those people out set them free the third level of revelation is this first day cast out devils second day cast out devils third day I complete what I came to complete Whenever the devil comes to you, whenever the devil comes your way, whenever the devil comes lurking around, they'll hold on with the kids for a moment. Hold on with the kids for a moment. Whenever the devil comes lurking around, somebody help me play. God's word is always current. When he says, Lo, I'm with you always. Oh, hallelujah. That word was good 2,000 years ago. It's good right now. It'll be good a year from now. Amen. Somebody help me pray. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost up in this place. God's word is always current. If he says, peace I give to you, that was good for 2,000 years ago. It's good today. It's good for next week. Peace, peace, peace. So when Jesus says, today and tomorrow I'm casting out devils, and on the third day, we'll accomplish everything. That word is good for right now. When the devil comes lurking around you and your family, and he says, today, I'm going to tear your family apart. You tell him. God's word says, today and tomorrow, we're casting the devil out. So, devil, today you can hang around, but today it's devil casting time. So if you want to hang around for that, yeah. you're more than welcome to hang around for that, because we're going to cast you out. Nice. Today and tomorrow devil casting time. He said, oh, okay, I got this figured out. I'll come back on the third day. He comes back three days later. I'm here. Three days later. And you say, no, devil, God's word is always current. Today and tomorrow, we're casting out devils. I want to read more Three days later, he came back to your house. He said, you're not a whole other yet. Three days later, he comes to your house. And he said, okay, three days later. And he said, no, God's word is always current. Today and tomorrow, we're casting out devils. Never ends because he, he's a defeated foe. Now I'm going to ask you to be bold right now. If there's anybody in your life, the devil has just been stomping and romping on you, on your mind, on your finances, on your family, whatever. It's probably going to empty the seats out. <laughs> I want you to come up right now because before the kids come in, we'll hold off on the kids. Before the kids come out, we're going to take about three or four minutes and we're going to, we're going to stop some devil's eating. Because if it's today and tomorrow, it's today, isn't it? Well, if it's today, that means it's devil stomping time. Today's always devil stomping time. Now, I'll go ahead and tell you, there's a lot of things that are birthed through intercessory prayer. There's a lot of things that are birthed through travail in the spirit. Anybody else, the devil's been stomping on you? I, I know because I, I, some of y'all still out there, I read your Facebook post. It's too late to tell me the devil ain't been stomping on you. I've been reading what you've been writing. So you might as well come on up. Get on up here. I'm going to give you a little secret now. The devil was cast out of heaven. The place where... There was nothing but the worship of God. Because in his mind, he thought, why do you need to worship God when you got me? He got cast out because of pride. Well, pride holds back. I'll handle it. I'll work it out. I'll figure it out somehow. I'll be okay. 
But you came down front because you said, I need today to be my devil casting out that. Well, let me tell you about how to cast out the devil. Great. You cry all you want. That's great. Because there's some things that are birthed through crying. You can travail in the Holy Ghost all you want. There's things that birthed in travail in the Holy Ghost. But if you want to see the devil leave you, go away, run down the road, get out of there, there's one thing that you cannot stand. It's people that are praising and worshiping and God with all their hearts. He doesn't want to be around that. Right? He's lost that for forever, and he sure doesn't want little bits and pieces of it either. So if he's been on your shoulder, and I'm going to ask you to be bold and kind of step out. If he's been on your shoulder, you got two or three choices here. If you didn't like anything laugh, praise your God. So if you could raise your voice and lift your voice up and praise him with everything you've got. If your team won, oh my. You, you, you burst a blood vessel inside of that your team. You're going to praise God with your voice up high. This old defeat is, oh, oh. Right now, we're not going to do that. It's this. I look to the hills from whence come my help. Yes. I come from the Lord. Hallelujah. You get that head up. You're not looking down where the devil is. You're looking up where God is. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll tell you the other thing. This and this is what you do for people that are incarcerated. When you're incarcerated, they do you like this and they do you like that because they don't want you moving your hands around. Okay? And also when you're incarcerated, they got chains on your legs and you walk like this. You can't lift your legs up. If you want to get out of those chains, the devil will bind you. I know I'm taking up some time, but we need to take up some time. If you'll lift that head, if you'll lift that voice, if you'll lift those hands, and maybe you do a little lifting of those feet, be animated, I promise you, the devil will run out of here, get off of you, get away from you, because he does not want somebody to praise God with everything. So, when a runner's about to run track, and get be in that position, I want you to get into your devil stomping position. That's lift your head, lift your hands. Hands up. And now I want you to praise him. Hallelujah. 